Hello everyone, welcome back from winter break. Um, and this is Miss Marcel and I'm here to show you what we are doing in the art room this week. Um, so advanced art, we kicked off the week with clay. Um, we had finished up our clay projects before the break and so we're starting a new project which is their clay heart. Um, I did a demo yesterday and then students jumped in and started making their clay hearts. Some of them are still in the um, planning stages and they were working on their worksheets. Uh, and figuring out what they're going to do for their clay project and they will start tomorrow um, and so then we will have two more clay projects after that I don't have them to show you right here in front of me because they are in the back of the room um, under plastic so um, at the end of the video I took a couple pictures of them that are in progress in creating like the masters um, today we started learning about um, Pablo Picasso um, they filled out their who's the artist in their um, who's the artist packet um, and we learned about him. We also then watched a short video clip of how to draw in the cubist style. Um, from there we um, started working on our Pablo Picasso worksheet packet. We did a reading about Pablo Picasso. Um, we then did um, answering some questions and then did a small picture in the style of one of the four styles we talked about that he did and then we started to really focus on different types of value techniques using a good drawing pencil they were learning about hatching cross hatching hatching stippling um, scribbling and using also a stump for blending um, and then on the back here we did some spheres as well um, next class we will be doing a still life drawing in a cubist style using those um, hatching cross hatching stippling um, value techniques and also then uh, the cubist um, style artwork as well um, then in art six we um, are still working on our elements of art booklets yesterday and today students were really working on getting their drawings done this one's turning out really awesome um, and then the next couple of days we're going to do a feedback form and so students will get into groups and they will be getting a feedback um, positive and improvements from their fellow classmates. They'll get um, three different classmates to give them feedback. They can also receive feedback from um, peers at their table. And then they will indicate over here um, what they're gonna do with that feedback before they turn in their project. So I really want them to be reflective and thinking about, okay, I think I'm done. Is there anything else that I could do to improve the, upon this? Or um, I'm not done yet and I need to finish up, but how could I finish and be very, very successful. Um, and then they will also have grade slips and be filling out their grade slips for that. And then in creating comics, um, we are well into iPad land now. And so we're into iPads and Procreate and students are taking pictures of their inked drawings that we did before the break. They are then tracing those drawings using um, Procreate and then adding color. Last class and today's class, we are gonna be learning about um, using clipping masks and so that allows students to be able to add textures and values and different things by um, blocking out certain parts of their um, image so this student here has his character and he was able to add some really cool textures and details into the camouflage and into the hat um, or the helmet i get i guess i should say um, to get this to look rendered and look more like what he was actually really really wanting it to be instead of just flat color and so it's great to be able to see he was able to add some of those details and textures in there um, they will then be assessing these and turning them in next class um, they'll share their document with me um, and fill out a grade slip and then i will be able to assess them um, from there they're going to take their characters and later this week we'll start talking about how to design our comic book cover and um, we'll look at what a comic book cover must have on it and then they'll take their character and be able to then start designing the background and the title and barcodes and all the different things that would um, be on a comic book cover and then those we will actually print off and um, map them on some nice um, map board and yeah so they should look really awesome the kids have really been enjoying um, using the iPads and using Procreate. Um, 
they seemed a little less sleepy today. They were definitely tired yesterday. Um, we'll see how the week goes and how we are feeling by Friday. Um, but so far it's been a, a good week and I've had a pleasure teaching them. So thank you and I'll see you all next week.